Speedy B have been making flight controller stacks for a while now and they've built a solid reputation for quality, price and innovative features. Their product range has been mainly targeted at multi-rotors but now they've just released this F405 Wing APP. It's a fixed wing flight controller that's supported by iNav and ArduPilot and this comes ready flash with iNav. It's got a load of great features including wireless configuration using the SpeedyB app and the price it's ridiculous $40 and that's around £36 and given today's prices of tech that is pretty remarkable. So not only does it represent great value for money the build quality and the features well they're right up there and the trick up this flight controller sleeve is the wireless connectivity. You don't need to use a USB cable and a computer to set this up and tweak it. You just use the free SpeedyB app to talk to this using a combination of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And don't go thinking that's just a gimmick. I've been using the app for as long as it's been around on their other multi-rotor flight controllers. And it's invaluable in the field for setup and tuning. So let's see what this has got to offer. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Black channel. As usual with SpeedyB, the packaging and quality of everything really is excellent. And this stack is made up of three boards. You get the flight controller itself. And then there's this Wi-Fi board, which is for all your connectivity. It's got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on here. And then finally, you've got the PDB board. And as you can see, the silk screening on these boards it really is very clear. And there's a lot of connections on here, so you really need to see what you're soldering to. And they've even added some documentation on here as well, which is very useful. There's a couple of IDC board interconnects, and you get all the mounting hardware, cables and connectors for your VTX, GPS, LEDs, and so on. But if you prefer soldering, there's actually duplicate of all these connectors on the solder pads. As you can see in here, we've got all the cables that you'd ever need, which is great. There's some pin headers here, which is very good for all your servo outputs. And they supply right angle and straight pin headers that you have to solder onto the board down there. And the reason they're not pre-soldered is so that you can choose which ones you want to use depending on how much space you've got in the fuselage. And talking of space, one of the problems that I found with a wing or plane builds is getting to the USB connector on the flight controller board because usually this is buried deep down inside the body. But SpeedyB have thought of that and they provide this external USB-C connector that's got an extension cable on it, which is a neat idea. And this has got a buzzer built into it as well. But if you're using iNav, you won't need this because you can use their app to control and set up the board. But if you're using RGPilot, you will still mostly need a USB connection like this to connect to your PC. Now you do get a very comprehensive manual. long and thin and this covers absolutely everything that you'll need to know about assembly and wiring up your other hardware. Unfortunately there is a much larger one on their website that's a little bit easier to read. Now the spec on this is pretty impressive. It's got an STM32 F405 MCU, it's got a barometer and there's an onboard black box with a micro SD card slot on the flight controller board. And you get six UARTs, although one is dedicated for wireless telemetry. And there's an I2C bus for your magnetometer and airspeed sensor. And along the bottom here, there's 11 PWM outputs. And this also supports ELRS on UART 1 with CRSF telemetry data for OpenTX and EdgeTX. And UART 2 has got an inverted SPUS input if you need that. Now along the top here, these four connectors are LED drivers. And that's pretty unusual 
for a flight stack for a wing. Speedy B have been selling these LED strips for well as long as I can remember really. And you just plug these in, you can just plug in up to four of them and configure those using iNav. But very conveniently, Speedy B have made it so that you can program these using various combinations of long press on the boot button. And they also include this USB-C extender because unlike quads where you can usually get to the USB connector on the board, this is going to be buried deep inside the fuselage of your wing or your plane, whatever you've got. So you can plug this in here like that and then position that wherever is convenient. It's got a buzzer on it as well, quite a nice touch. Bottom of the stack is the PDB. Remember this is a PDB, it's not an ESC, so you'll need an external ESC to drive your motor. This is pretty impressive as well. The power supply is anything between 2 and 6S, and there's a battery voltage and a precision current sensor for RG Pilot on here as well. And they've usefully added a TVS protection diode. As you can see from the legend on the bottom here, there's a very comprehensive selection of Backs on here. There's a 5 volt back, there's a switchable 5, 9, or 12 volt back that suits your VTXs, analog, digital, and that includes the newer DJI 03 Air unit. And there's a servo back on here as well, again, switchable, anything between 4.9, 6, and 7.2 volts. So it's got pretty much everything covered. Connectivity this top board here, it's basically i uh, got Wi-Fi so that you can talk to the Q Ground Control app, the Speedy B app and Mission Planner. And there's Bluetooth Low Energy on here, that's BLE, and you can use that to talk to the Speedy B app. It's also got classic Bluetooth SSP, the serial port profile, to talk to Q Ground Control and Mission Planner. And another feature carried over from their multi-rotor stacks is the LiPo battery checker. Down here, there's four LEDs on the main board that are an indicator to show you how your, well, the state of charge or voltage of your battery. Now, this it might seem like a really useful thing to have, and it is for multi-rotors, but to be honest, this stack is likely to be buried inside an aircraft fuselage, so it's gonna make them a little bit hard to see, but it's a useful thing to have anyway. The overall size of this stack is 32 by 52 and it's 19 millimeters deep that way. And compared to other stacks like the Maytech, it is a bit taller, but it does squeeze in much more functionality. And the whole thing weighs 27 grams, although when you add something like that, it's going to be a little bit more. The LED drivers and the wireless connectivity on this is fantastic and make it really stand out from the other wing stacks. But if you've used their other multi-rotor stacks, then it's nothing new really. But their support for different firmware is outstanding. This is really flashed with iNav and it talks to the iNav configurator on the SpeedyB app. But it's also supported by ArduPilot for wings, planes, flaperons and VTOLs and it talks wirelessly with the Q Ground Control app. Now I think it's really refreshing to see Speedy B disrupt Matek in the fixed wing controller market, especially with some fantastic features and the integration with iNav and ArduPilot. And more importantly, it's a fantastic price. $40 for all this is mighty good. You may need to wait though, we're now getting towards the end of April 2023 and all my local suppliers in the UK are waiting for stock and even the Speedy B website has got stock warnings and pre-order messages. It's going to be mighty popular. I think it probably is already. And I'm going to use this in another Atom Dolphin wing that I'm building and I may even try a VTOL build that I've always fancied having a go at. So I'll keep you posted on what else I find. But for now, there's a few cons on this, sort of niggles, not cons. I'm surprised there's no XT60 cable and connector included in the box for this. And this external USB-C board, 
It's a really great idea, but I suspect this cable is probably a little bit too short for most builds. And the flight controller solder pads that are just down here are very close to the JST connectors for the LEDs. So if you use big blobs of solder, that may be a bit of a problem. And you will need to solder these before you assemble the stack. And the SD card is hard to get to because it's right in the middle. But remember, you can analyze your logs wirelessly with the SpeedyB app. And the F405 is powerful enough for most things. But I've read that the VTOL processing on ArduPilot needs some real grunt. Until I try it, I've got no idea if that's even an issue, but do let me know in the comments. Regardless of all that, this is going to be a very, very popular fixed wing stack. And if you want to keep up to date with my builds and tech and anything else in the world of Whirly Bloke, yeah, you should probably subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.